so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this tutorial video i would like to show you how to create a working contact form with react i meant to say that the contact form details that the user is going to be filling in your form how to send that details to your gmail with only react without using any backend language like php or laravel all right so let's start creating our working contact form with react js So for creating this working contact form, as you can see on my browser screen, we are having this email js.com website opened over here. And you can see the title over here that is saying send email directly from JavaScript. No server code is needed. Focus on things that just matter. Alright, so you can create your account for free over here. If you have created your account, just sign into your account. So I have already created my account, so I'm just going to sign into my account. So as you can see, after signing in over here, they will be asking for your email and for your password. And after that, sign in to your account. And as you can see, after you have created your account, you're going to be redirected to the dashboard of this email js.com's website. And after coming to your website, side after logging in you can see this email services section opened over here so i have already tested this project so it's created over here by default so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete it and start it from scratch and this is going to be our email template i will let you know what is gonna be after some times so now after doing that creating your account in your email js.com website Come to this email services section over here and click on this add new service button. After coming over here, you can select the service that you would like to send your contact form details to. So now we are going to select our Gmail. If you like to create, if you like to know how to send your contact form details to Zoho, to send in blue, to send grid, comment down below. I'll create another video for that. So now uh, we are going to see how to send our contact form details to gmail so just select gmail over here and after that no need to change anything over here just connect your account where you need to receive your contact form details so i'm just going to click on this connect account button over here and after that i'm going to select my account so i'm going to select this email over here and now whatever user will be entering in my contact form the details will be sent it to my this gmail account so now i am going to click on continue all right after that you can just send a test email to verify the configuration whether it is working fine or not so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to send it i'm just going to uncheck it out and click on create service all right as you can see the alert is showing that the service has been added successfully great after that come to this email templates section over here and create a new template what does this email template section do in this you can just design your section or a mail like how you want it to receive from your contact form the design of your message so here's my default template that i'm going to create over here now you can just desire over here that the new message is from let me just select over here and enter the name that you have entered in your input field so before we start doing that what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my vs code editor over here and as you can see over here this is my app js file in which i have created my contact form and even designed it so if you would like to see how i've created this contact form comment down below i'll be creating a video how to create a contact form with html and css so as you can see, this is my project. Yes, we are getting an error because of uncompiledness of this send email function. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove it for a second. And now, as you can see, this is the contact form design that I have already created with the help of HTML and CSS. Now what we need to enter in our template section is that the name that you have provided to your input. All right. So now we can see we are having user underscore name, user underscore email and a simple message. 
name so now we are going to come back to a full screen over here and now we can see up here new messages from user underscore name and hello to user underscore name now you got a new message from i would like to display the mail of the user over here so user underscore mail and let me check once again to by coming to my vs code editor and it's user underscore email sorry my apologize so i'm just going to change it to email after that i would like to display message over here and i'm going to keep all of the things default okay it doesn't matter at all after that what we are going to do up here is that we are just going to click on the save button to save it now the template has been added successfully if you would like to test it how it's going to look in your gmail you can just click on this test it button and after that click on the send test email but i'm not going to test it because it's going to take so much of time so now let me just close this alert box over here and now let's work with our app.js file so for that we are going to come to this email.js.com website over here and select our docs page after coming to our docs page we are going to scroll down to our examples section over here and select react after that you can see over here the code is provided to you the first thing is that you need to import email.js from email.js.com to make this contact form work so for doing that you need to install it all right so for installing it come to your sign in email js dashboard section over here come to your account integration and after that you can see over here for those who work with various modern frameworks we suggest to install email js sdk like a module this sdk is fully supported by typescript so write this command in your terminal and install email js in your project so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this so let me select all of the line of code over here plus command plus c copy it and now i'm going to come back to my vs code editor so now what i'm going to do up here is that i'm going to split my terminal by pressing command plus backslash all right and over here i'm just going to paste the same command that i have copied that is npm install email js now i'm going to press enter to install it on my project it's going to take some time all right as you can see now our email js is successfully installed in our project we are done with it now we can just follow back the guide that the user email js have provided us so let's come over here let me scroll to the top and copy this import statement by pressing command plus c to copy come back to our vs code editor and import it over here for pasting we are going to press command plus v and now we have successfully imported our email js from email js hyphen com let me come back over here now what we are going to do over here is that we are just going to copy this function that is send email from here and nothing else we are done with it now let me just make it a bit smaller and open my react app now what i'm going to do over here is that inside my app function let me zoom a bit over here and close my sidebar and even close my terminal and now what i'm going to do inside my app function i'm going to paste this function now what i'm going to say inside my form on submit of this form i'm going to call this function that is send email which you can see over here this is the function that i have copied from email js website all right after doing this much what we are going to do over here is that we need to add your service id your template id and your user id so let's start adding it from one by one so for doing that we are going to come to our dashboard page make it in a full screen now what we are going to do first we need to add our template id or what let me check it out we need to add our service id all right so we are going to get our service id in our email services this is your service id so for writing this what i'm going to do over here is that i'm going to open my visual studio code editor back and just bring it over here and select my user service id and write the service id that i have created service underscore seven ue zero 
and EE. Great. So don't try to copy the same service ID because after uploading the video, this services will be deleted. Okay, so now we need to upload our template ID. So for that, we need to come to our email template section and this is going to be our template ID. Let me come back to the VS Code editor and add my template ID over here. That is going to be template underscore X 8C M. And what is this? It's I or L? Yeah, I think so. It's L and L. Am I correct? Okay, we are just going to check whether it's correct or not. If it's wrong, we are going to get a big fat error. All right, so let me come back to the VS Code editor. After that, we need to enter. What we need to enter? We need to enter our user ID. So for getting the user ID, we are going to come to this integration section over here, scroll down. And as you can see, we are getting our user ID over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that user ID. copy it come to my VS code editor and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my Chrome size smaller so I'm just going to select it over from here and then I'm going to make it smaller great now let's come to our user ID and paste it over here great that's it we are done now let's check whether it works fine or not so for checking it's working fine or not, what I'm going to do after the form is submitted, I would like to display an alert that the form is submitted. So for that, I'm going to have an alert over here that will be displaying us that is going to be uh, email sent. Great. And now let me end it with a semicolon. Now I'm going to come to my react app over here and reload it once to try and side by side I'm going to open my mail. So I'm going to open this tab in a new screen. Great and make it half of this screen over here and open my mail. I will be switching my account. And all right, we are over here. Great. So now we are going to enter the details in our contact form. So I'm going to enter my name that is going to be easy to code. Enter my email. I'll be entering testing at the red gmail.com. And now let me enter a message that is going to be hi there. Welcome to my channel. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel great and now let me just click on the send button as you can see when i just click on the send button it is showing me an alert that is saying the email is sended and now i can just click on ok okay after that we can just come to our email sorry gmail and reload our page and now as you can see we have received message successfully from our react contact form great so let me come to this message over here and as you can see it is displaying us in this template hello easy to code that we have designed you got a new message from the user's gmail and the message will be displayed over here great you can design it as you like like you can just come to your template section of over here email templates select it and you can even edit it like if you like to display username in a bold you can edit it from here it's same like word if you need to align it in center you can just choose this option to align it in center great so this is how to create a working contact form or how to send your contact form details to your gmail directly by using react.js if you like the tutorial video, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace.